Hey guys, how are things? Um, we're just I'm up in the field here now and I'm walking my dogs and it's uh, places that I would have traditionally walked all of a sudden have become busy because people are grounded and they're at home and whatnot, picking up a few sticks for the fire. So I said along the way I'd give you a few tips regarding COVID-19 and what we could possibly do. A big one that's going around at the moment is people are discussing hand sanitizer. Uh, that, that seems to be the topic of conversation now at the moment and what substitutes as hand sa sanitizer. Uh, and us being Irish, I don't know if it's particularly because we're Irish or <laughs> we have this fond fondness for spirits, but people are saying that whiskey and vodka is a suitable alternative to hand sanitizer. So really what I want to do is dispel a couple of myths regarding alcohol content and proof relation. So when we say something is 80% proof, an alcohol is 80% proof, we're not actually talking about the volume and percentage of alcohol within it. 80% proof equates to approximately 40% alcohol, which is what most vodkas, tequila, spirits, whiskies, etc. would be in or around about that. Now the problem with 40% alcohol is it's not really sufficient to kill uh, bacteria and viral droplets. What we need according to the CDC is we need a minimum of 60% alcohol content. So and ideally above 72% that's that's really ideal for hand sanitizer and stuff like that. So just that you are aware of that uh, you know proof and the relation between proof and alcohol content and how much alcohol we actually need. So things like original Listerine and stuff like that doesn't have sufficient alcohol content to kill viral droplets and break them down. Now the good news is if you don't have antiseptics regular household soap is absolutely fantastic and what happens with regular household soap when we wash our hands thoroughly the soap actually breaks down the glue that binds viral droplets together so really a good old you can't beat old-fashioned soap um, I don't know if my wolfhound is going to come into the picture here or not but anyhow hopefully he won't um, and we're out walking him but anyhow that's it just to give you an idea uh, regarding sanitizer because it does seem to be a hot topic at the moment. We put more stuff up and more little tips on the Facebook page and YouTube along the way. So guys I hope you are all well and I hope you are adjusting to your isolation and uh, don't be panicking. Uh, you know it's going to be okay. Talk to you during the week guys. Take care.